Hey guys, it's Fistful of Cloth here today, and so this Monster Legends Guides video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to complete bounty hunts in order to get the free mythic. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, there are a bunch of free mythics inside of bounty hunts actually, but there's one new one that you will want to get every time. And currently, the new one, I believe, is named... Hurtnivore, something like that. But yeah, you are definitely going to want to get Hurtnivore, even though he's not like the best monster in the game. And that is, of course, because he is a brand new mythic, so he has higher stats than most other monsters. So yeah, you are definitely going to want to get him. And in order to get him, you will, of course, have to fight in the bounty hunt and find the bounty and do all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into how you're going to do that. So the first thing you are going to want to do is get a good team for the bounty hunt. So you will need a team of three monsters, and you will need to do as much damage as possible. So don't really use a tank or a deny because denies just don't work against the bounty and the tanks just don't really work either. Because he most of the time isn't really going to kill you. He's just going to be trying to make it so that you can't hurt him. So you're going to want two attackers and a support. And your support is going to have a damage boost and cleanser or negative effect removal. And that should help you do pretty much everything you need to do. And you're going to want your support to have damage boost as well. And maybe if your attacker is damage boost your support doesn't really have to have it but i'd still say give your support damage boost give your attackers damage boost if you can so yeah then you are going to want to enter the event and once you are on the grid you will want to go ahead and try to find the bounty so if you don't know how bounty hunts work you get put on a grid with a bunch of other players and then you are going to want to click on these shapes and follow the arrows in order to find the bounty and your teammates or they're not really your teammates i guess but the other people on the grid will be doing that as well and you can follow their arrows as well in order to find the bounty and then once one of you finds the bounty you can go and start attacking him with the stamina that costs one stamina per attack and whoever does the most damage or reaches the thresholds in the health first gets even more rewards and then you all get rewards once the bounty is defeated so yeah you're going to want to do more damage against the other people on the grid and that is of course why you're going to want to have a damage boost and attackers and then once the bounty is defeated and once you reach all the thresholds you will get bounty coins which you can bring into the bounty shop and buy the new monster as well as some other monsters and you will be buying all of these monsters in packs of 10 cells and then once you get 100 cells you bring them on into the monster lab click on craft and then click on craft again and you can craft them in here for 100 so yeah it will take a little bit in order to go ahead and get enough cells to craft the monsters but it is definitely possible and it is actually very easy bounty hunts are one of the best ways to get mythics so yeah go and look at what monsters you want to get and go and try to get them as quickly as possible through the bounty hunt and this event will last all the way until next friday so you have quite a bit of time so that is going to be for this video let me know down in the comments if this video was helpful for you guys let me know also what monsters you guys are planning to get out of the bounty hunt and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye